What are the long-term implications of the federal deficit? I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Local Edition. With me this hour is United States Congressman Leonard Lance. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having me, Jill. Let's talk about the budget and then the deficit. When we look at the budget, $3.6 trillion budget, what are some of the implications of that kind of spending and what do you see long term and what, what does this mean for us as taxpayers? Uh, I'm concerned that our deficit spending long term will be harmful to the American economy and to the American people. I'm under no illusion that we can balance the budget this year because we are in a significant recession and there has to be deficit spending this year. But I don't think we have a plan to get us back to a balanced budget in a reasonable period of time. This year's budget is uh, $3.6 trillion or so, and about half of that, $1.8 trillion, is borrowed money and that is rising rapidly and I think that is harmful to the American people. One of the challenges in coming up with a budget during a recession is the need to borrow money. We're often beholden to foreign countries at this point in terms of uh, that debt. What are some of the issues that you're facing as a legislative body moving forward knowing that China and other countries now we are now beholden to them in terms of debt? Uh, that's precisely the point that other countries are purchasing our debt, including China and Saudi Arabia and other places. And these are not democracies. These are autocratic in nature. And indeed, recently, the Chinese indicated that, should, that there should be a new currency and we should no longer rely on the American currency worldwide. And I consider that to be frightening. And after we get out of this recession, I'd like to have a, a glide path back to a balanced federal budget. Our overall deficit in this country is now $11 trillion, and it may increase to $20 trillion over the course of the next six or eight years. And I think that is intolerable to the next generation. As you, as you well noted, we are in a recession at this point. As the economy tries to recover and, and makes strides toward recovery, what are some of the things that we need to do moving forward in order to reduce the federal deficit? The president has called for this himself. Um, uh, the president uh, has, uh, has indicated a blueprint that I think does not lead necessarily to uh, a, a balanced budget, and I would urge him to work with Congress on a bipartisan fashion uh, so that uh, when we get out of the recession, we can try to balance our budget. Um, I'm not suggesting that we can pay down our current debt right away. I simply want not to increase uh, to new levels of debt because ultimately this will lead to a diminished standard of living for the next generation. And, and also, because of this tremendous borrowing, we're likely to have an inflationary effect, or at least the cost of interest will increase greatly. And that means that it will be more difficult for those who want to purchase a residence, for example, to borrow, because interest rates will be higher. When we look long term, what are the steps that need to be taken in order to pay down this debt and thus reduce the deficit? Um, I think that we have to have budget policies in place year by year to make sure that the deficit comes back into a balance. Uh, over the last 45 years, our deficit on an annual basis has been roughly 18 or 19 percent of gross domestic product. This year it is 30 percent of gross domestic product. So we have to increase our gross domestic product and that will get us out of the recession in a way that we can, over time, balance the federal budget. So many issues to tackle at once. We're looking at wars on, on two fronts, trying to bail out the auto industry. What can Congress do moving forward now that the uh, federal stimulus package has been passed in order to try and rein in spending when you're dealing with so many domestic and foreign issues all at the same time? I don't think Congress uh, would likely uh, have a, a new amount of funding for uh, troubled assets. That program was passed uh, last autumn. Uh, it's an expenditure of roughly uh, 700 uh, billion dollars. I think uh, moving forward that we have to improve the economy without increasing the federal debt. All right, please come back and give us an update. Thank you. We've been talking with United States Congressman Leonard Lance. I'm Jill Horner for Comcast Local Edition.